Hey yo, what's up folks? Today is day four in Inktober 2018. And today folks, we're drawing spell. Ooh, man. Okay, let's get into it. So on this one, I decided to do something a little bit, I don't know. I, I kind of worked out the sketch a little bit ahead of time. I wanted to do something that had a kind of a Halloween theme to it because up until now, we've been having our fun with our pig character. And I'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to do something kind of spooky, scary, like a little bit. Of, I wanted to wanted it to have like a feel of Halloween and you know, witches and things like that. So I said, nothing's so spookier than summoning a demon. So I figured we'll go with that for a spell. That's our main theme. And you, a thing we kind of established on this part up until now with this um, Inktober event is we decided to go with the narrative, a continuing story to help, I don't know, feed us ideas. So when I was drawing this on the stream, um, some of the people watching were saying they were having difficulties trying to come up with what to draw for the different, um, for, for the different um, prompts. And I said, listen, I was having the same thing, uh, same problem too. But I figured when I switched it to a theme, making a story with characters, recurring characters, it actually made the discovery process of what to draw a lot easier. Because now I had have people, I have character types, I have, you know, personalities that I can just put in these certain situations, and the stories just kind of drive themselves. So, yeah, if if you're running into problems, here's some um, Inktober tips for you. Um, for when you're stumped and have no idea. So definitely go with the narrative. Go with a, a recurring story. And you'll find that it might not click the first time, but it'll click the second and third time. So much, so much better. So we had our pig character, and our, we've discovered that her friend is now a shapeshifter now. So she's a witch. And we have our book mentor. And we have, a, we have her in a cauldron. <laughs> I don't know where I'm coming up with this, but um, it, it just happened. It just happened. We kind of designed her scarf a little bit more. Um, you'll see later on in this um, video that where I have a kind of a, an epiphany, a kind of a, I, I worked out the character design of what I wanted for the pig. So what's, I, I discovered that it's kind of hard sometimes to um, come up with character designs that don't look like something else. So during the stream, they're saying, oh, I was sketching up some ideas, some rough ideas of like, we can go this way with this character, we can go that way. And everything kind of looked like something else. Now, when I was drawing this, I actually made a little bit of a mistake with a line. And for some reason, that line kind of sparked an idea in my head of how we can draw this pig character going forward. So that was a lifesaver. You'll see that later. I come back and touch it up later when I figure it out. Um, but here we are drawing a pot painting the pot um well not now now i'm drawing the book but i had a really hard time figuring out how i wanted to draw the the cast iron pot because i've never really done anything like that in pen and ink before and i was worried that i was having too much black lines i was trying to figure out ways that i can show it's the texture of the pot but at the same time not just have it be kind of like I don't know, solid black, you know? So so I looked at some manga stuff and I was trying to look for inspiration, but I was running out of time and I was, I, I'll go back later and try to figure something out. I think going forward with this challenge, I really need to learn more about creating textures with uh, pen and ink. Uh, also speed lines, working out speed lines. I'm putting in some right there. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of big lessons learned on this one. and But I have to say, I'm really happy with the results. It came out way better than I thought. So we have the table kind of exploding. Little, little uh, what is it? A uh, summoning place where bad things happen. I don't know. I forget what it's called. Anyway, never mind. Um, so we're just going on with the book. I mean, we're drawing the book. I kind of messed up the hatching towards the end. Um, yeah. I made, I made quite a few mistakes, but all these turned out to be happy accidents. I was able to recover some of it. And that's the thing that's really interesting about working with pen and ink, is that sometimes um, we make mistakes and uh, you just have to figure out how to make it work. 
So you'll see right there, like, if you look at the pig's face, I made a change. So now I know how to make the snout. So I took her rosy cheek and I kind of made it, made, made it a snout. And I think going forward, that's the way we're going to use, we're going to render her face. We're going to have the cute piggy ears, small eyes, and a little snout. Then we'll go from there. So who knows? So there you go. I'm messing up the bottom of the, of the guy right there. But yeah, there it is. There you have it. They're escaping on the cauldron after summoning something bad. All right, folks, listen, I had a blast on this one. And I want to thank everybody on the stream. So if you can, uh, check out the final results on Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm learning so much from this event. Thank you, Inktober. Uh, I'm, I'm having a good time. All right, love you. Bye-bye.